Step number one for blowing up in YouTube Shorts is making sure that you're spending 90% of your time actually focused on your title. And this is the exact opposite what a lot of small creators do. And for you watching this video right now, I would bet my last dollar that you are not spending 90% of your time coming up with your title. In fact, you're probably spending the majority of time creating your content, which is a huge mistake and you need to stop doing this. You see, YouTube uses your title for two reasons. One, it's going to help people click on your video. If your video doesn't show up on the Shorts feed, well then guess what's going to happen? Somebody's going to have to click on your video, which is why your title and your thumbnail are more important. If nobody clicks on the video, nobody watches the video. So why are you spending 90% of your time creating the video when you should be spending that time getting people to click on your video, which is making a better title and making a better thumbnail. The second thing YouTube uses titles for, and this is not specific to shorts, but very important for shorts, is whether or not they actually have an audience for your content. So many creators, Minecraft creators, creators that do affiliate marketing, creators that are doing fitness stuff, creators that are doing stuff about fashion, you're not actually using keywords that YouTube knows they have an audience for in your content. And guess what? This is resulting in you not getting views. This is why when you post the shorts, it doesn't get pushed out like all the other small, medium, and large creators that you see on YouTube and everybody else that you're seeing blow up in your niche. The reason being for 99% of you guys that you guys are not getting views is because you're choosing the wrong titles on your videos. Recently, I helped Tupac12 gain over 2.5 million subscribers on YouTube, and the way that he was able to do it was by optimizing his titles. He did everything that I just shared with you and the secret that I'm gonna share with you at the end of this video, which might be the most important thing that you can actually do in your title, and it's something simple that a lot of you small creators are totally ignoring, but you guys need to make sure that you're emphasizing your title. In the beginning, he wasn't emphasizing his title. He was doing the wrong thing with his title. He was actually creating the same exact content that made him blow up. The only difference in what he did was he made sure that he chose a different title in future videos, which allowed his old videos to blow up and his past videos to blow up because it made it way easier for YouTube to begin suggesting them. So for a lot of you guys that have a lot of content out there and the content didn't do well, but you think the video could do well, you need to find a title structure that actually works. Continue doing that structure over and over and over again for different topics. You can almost upload the same YouTube short over and over again with just different titles. Obviously, you're gonna wanna change a little bit of things, but you can do almost the same thing in every single video as long as you're changing the title structure and using the one that actually works, but just doing it for different scenarios, you're going to see success on YouTube Shorts. In fact, you might see the same success as Tuvok. Again, he gained over 2.5 million subscribers and he literally gained a million of those in just a 24 hour period. Failure to create a sense of urgency in your title and failure to include keywords that is gonna allow YouTube to push your content out to the right people is going to result in you failing to get views and subscribers on YouTube, but that can all change. All you have to do is smash that subscribe button. If you wanna grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video about how to grow on these platforms every single day, so I strongly suggest you smash that subscribe button so you never miss another thing that I share with you because trust me, the next things that are gonna be coming in this video are gonna be incredibly important to you blowing up on YouTube. You can't just use the right titles, you have to do so many other things that I show you in this video and a few things that I don't show you in this video, but you can get them in my free YouTube shorts course. So you can find it the link in the pinned comment below. It has a ton of secrets that you guys will not be seeing in this video. Now remember, I'm gonna start charging for that free course in the future. So I strongly suggest you get into it right now while it's free. Hack number two is making sure that you're creating your shorts very, very fast paced. I look at hundreds of shorts every single day and these small creators, they all make the same mistake. They have an introduction in their shorts. They don't get straight to the point. There's not an angle or text on the screen or a sound that actually hooks somebody in. You need to understand something. If somebody clicks on your video, then honestly, the hook is going to be the title and the thumbnail. You need to just get straight into the video. But if somebody's not clicking on your video, it's gonna be showing up on the shorts feed. And if somebody skips away from your video, that destroys the amount of watch time that you get on your video, destroys your audience, retention and ultimately this is why you're failing on YouTube. So the only way to combat this is to use sounds that have a hook built into them. To add text on the screen that has a hook built into it to say something that is meant to invoke curiosity to outrage somebody or get somebody interested in what's going to come next or use a camera angle in order to do this. Now at this point, you're probably wondering, Rob, where can I find the best titles for my videos? Where can I find the best sounds to add in my videos? And what kind of content should I actually be creating for my specific niche on YouTube Shorts? Well, I'm glad you asked because I'm about to show you just that. When it comes to finding topics and titles that are going to work best within your niche, you need to look for two things. One, you need to make sure that you know what the top word trending videos in your niche are at any given time. Secondly, you need to make sure that you have a list of two to three creators that you're looking up to within your niche. You're gonna be looking at these creators in order to find titles that work, in order to find blanks that work, and in order to find sounds and other small subtleties that you guys need to make sure that you're putting into your videos. For example, you look at some creators' accounts and say, why do they edit their videos like that? And then boom, you realize, oh, they edit their video like that because that makes them get retention or why do they upload thumbnails like that? Or why do they upload titles like that? So please, if you don't already, make sure that you have a list of these creators, make sure that you know exactly what is trending in your niche. And if you don't know how to find either of those, I'm about to tell you how. 
All you have to do is go into the YouTube app on your phone and do a search for something in your niche. For example, if you're in the Minecraft niche, search Minecraft and then hashtag shorts. You have to search for whatever your video topic is going to be about, whatever somebody in your niche would be searching for, and then hashtag shorts. And then what you need to do, you need to look at those videos that pop up. You need to make sure that you watch those videos. You need to make sure that you interact with those videos. You need to make sure that you take the link of that video and then recreate that video. You're going to want to make it the same length, use the same sound, and make sure that you use the same title. Now, obviously, if somebody has an original sound added to that, well, then don't do that. And also pay attention to what the actual format of the video is, because again, that is a format that's going to be successful on YouTube. Now, a lot of small creators get held up here. A lot of big creators get held up here too. They say, Rob, but that sounds like copying. It is not copying. You're going to be adding your own thing onto it. You're going to be adding your own personality onto it. If you look at the biggest YouTubers on the platform, they all use the same thumbnails. They all use the same title structure. They use the same things in their videos. They all use the same video topics over and over again. It's like this with everything in the world. Look at Tesla. They were not the first electric car. Look at the iPhone. They weren't the first smartphone. All these things just did something a little different and did it better, but they didn't totally reinvent the wheel. So stop reinventing the wheel with your YouTube content. Simply take somebody's title, take that length of the video, take the video concept and put your own twist on it. Now, if you're really serious about growing on YouTube, I actually suggest that you have a burner account because you need to understand something. The YouTube algorithm is going to change based on what you're actually interacting with on YouTube. The same thing happens for your viewers. So if you were to watch Minecraft videos and Mr. Beast videos, you would then get suggested different videos than somebody that watched Minecraft videos and then PewDiePie videos and someone that just watched Minecraft videos. In order to really hone in on your niche, you need to make sure that you're only watching Minecraft videos, which is why you should create a burner account where you only interact with Minecraft videos. Now you probably think this might might sound a little crazy, but hear me out on this. What you'll then be able to see based on the videos that you get recommended, both in the shorts feed and on your homepage and when you search for things, because yes, the search results get changed based on past videos that you interact with. Now you're probably wondering, but Rob, what if my audience does watch Mr. Beast or what if they do watch PewDiePie? The only way for you to objectively know that is to have an account that didn't interact with those other things so that you can see what other niches are being mashed into the niche that you're creating. For example, it might be the reaction niche. It might be a rating niche. It might be a hacker's niche or something along the lines of that. And then you can implement that into the other niche that you're actually doing because the most successful people on YouTube, they're very niche down, but they create videos that hit multiple niches. For example, they'll create a Minecraft video that also gets into reaction stuff. They'll create a Minecraft video that also gets into people building stuff. Now I know I keep using the gaming niche over and over again, but this works for everything. It works for content about everything. You guys need to make sure that you're implementing these things and the things I'm about to share with you because honestly, the next things I'm gonna go into might be more important than everything else that I shared with you in this video and I need to make sure that you're doing them if you're serious about growing on YouTube because you need to understand something. Now is one of the best windows of opportunity ever to grow on YouTube. The short form content, you're able to put it out without having an editor. I literally had to pay an editor. For me to blow up on YouTube two or three years ago, I had to pay an editor thousands of dollars a month in order to edit these videos for something that might might not have worked. Now you could do that with YouTube Shorts. You guys need to take advantage of this because I'm telling you, the organic reach that we're seeing on YouTube Shorts right now is not going to last forever. If you want to become a full-time YouTuber, quit your nine to five to make content or just start a business on YouTube, you need to make sure that you're implementing these next things I'm going to share with you. First, you need to make sure that your YouTube shorts have a call to action in them. You need to be getting people to subscribe for a reason that is not selfish. The reason that I gave you to subscribe to my channel is because I'm going to help you grow on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. I know that you want to do that because odds are you clicked on this video in order to watch how to blow up on YouTube shorts. So now guess what? I'm going to tell you how to do that in future videos if you subscribe. I didn't ask you to follow. I didn't ask you to hit the red button. I told you to subscribe. You need to do the same exact thing in your YouTube shorts. This is going to work best if you do it at the end, remember, don't have it be for a selfish reason. Don't have it be sub for more content. Don't have it be follow for more content. It needs to be very specific to what that actually viewer wants, what that viewer is interested in. And again, if you don't know who your audience is on YouTube, you're not going to be successful. The biggest YouTube creators, the most successful YouTube creators really understand who is watching the video down to a T and you need to be the same exact way if you want to blow up within your niche. The final thing that you need to make sure that you're implementing if you want to blow up on YouTube shorts in the next seven days or honestly right after watching this video is making sure that you're putting hashtag shorts at the end of your title and I would put an emoji before that. I would put an emoji that actually adds to the emphasis that's going to be on your title because remember your title needs to have keywords, it needs to invoke curiosity, it needs to get somebody to feel an emotion so they actually click. In addition to that, and I didn't mention this earlier, a lot of times your title is actually going to work in tandem with the hook on your video if it's showing on the shorts feed and it's going to get somebody to want to stick around, which is why it needs to invoke curiosity. It needs to allude to what is going to come next in the video. And it needs to give people a very compelling reason to want to watch your video when they can watch millions of other videos on YouTube.
Now that you know exactly what you need to do to blow up on YouTube Shorts, you're probably wondering, but Rob, what time should I actually be uploading my videos? Lucky for you, I just created a video about what time you should be uploading on YouTube Shorts to go viral. I'm gonna put it up here on the screen next. I strongly suggest you check it out next if you're serious about blowing up on YouTube Shorts.